to my channel so today I'm gonna to be repotting my syngoniums um, I have the uh, butterfly syngonium and the pink illusion I'm repotting them thank you mommy I'm repotting them because I noticed that or rather yes we potting them because I noticed the soil that they were in was holding too much moisture so I went out and I bought some um, perlite and some new soil and things like that to mix together to make it very well draining and hopefully that will help with the issues I was having with them being overwatered. So I'm on my floor here in my living room. I don't have a set place where I repot. I just like to get comfortable and do it. So I'm going to show you the pots that I'm going to be doing right now and um, we'll get right into it. Okay. As always, I have two young kids, so any noises like that that you hear in the background will be them just playing around. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the plants that I'm going to be repotting. Alright, so here I have my little setup. This is my bag for the old soil. As you can see, I plopped off those leaves that were yellowing. So this here I already have out. You can see it has some really nice established healthy roots. So, you know, there's no root rot going on here, but it's just staying too wet. And I can tell because I'm starting to get those yellow spots here and there. And when I purchased this one, this is the pink illusion, as you can see right there. I initially thought it was mismarked because I didn't see any pink anywhere, but it did start to come in in the veining. But anyhow, I got this this guy here for a dollar from uh, Lowe's because it had some dead leaves on it. So I took it to the register. You can see now it has some little babies, so I definitely want to get it in some nice dry soil. But anyway, it has some dead leaves on it, so I went up to the register and I showed it to her. And she said, um, or well, rather, I asked her, you know, do you mark plants down when they look like this? She said, looked at it, said sure, and she marked it down to one dollar. So I got this guy for a dollar. So I definitely want to keep it nice and healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get them in some new soil. And right here, you can see I already have some together. This is some potting soil, some perlite, and some orchid wood chips in there mixed together. I think this will make for a nice airy soil. I've uh, already repotted some of my other plants in it, and it seems to be going well. I'm going to reuse the plastic pot that I already had it in, but as I said, I'm just changing the soil. I have made the holes in the bottle for it to drain. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Eventually, I would like all of my plants to be in either terracotta or ceramic planters. But in the meantime, these are okay. And so I was gonna wait until I had some terracotta pots, but I'm noticing the damage continue. As you can see here with this one has some flopping. Um, the roots are turning from this bright green to like this kind of brown. So I just wanna get them in some nice dry soil. So.
hopefully that remedies everything i've been having going on as you can see they're nice and rich with perlite right. for good drainage and i also added some you know what you do to your soil to help it um help it drain properly how do you stop from having your plants hold too much moisture i had an issue with overwatering in the beginning i'm trying to fix that and so i just want to find that good balance to keep my plants nice and healthy from past experience i've noticed the beginning signs of knowing there was a water issue going on so as i said in the beginning i just wanted to get these guys out and get them in some good dry soil i was going to try to see if i could reuse some of this soil but honestly i'm just going to let it go because it's really wet i can squeeze the water out of it so i don't even want to be bothered with it i'm just going to toss it and from here in, i'm going to make sure that i do this mix here that you saw me use that I've been doing. Um, I've done it to about five or six of my other plants and I've learned, noticed positive results. So I'm gonna keep to that. And yeah, like I said, um, I'm just gonna keep going eventually. I want terracotta pots um, or ceramic pots for all of my plants. Let me know in the comments below. I asked in the Facebook group that I'm in just to see you know, what people thought. And it was pretty mixed. Um, I like the look of the terracotta pots and um i like the price of them as well so you know that is positive for me but some people were saying they don't like them because they're so absorbent that they dry the plants out you have to water more often i'm okay with that i like the buffer of in, in the event that i overwater, that i have something that's like working on my side you know drawing that water out so i like that so anyway let me know what you think about terracotta plot, pots are there any plants you think should absolutely not be in terracotta what are your thoughts? All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.